I'm Jason Olsford, and today I'm going to show you how I made the big heads for my Texas Dream composite. That one. Right here. Alrighty, so today I'm going to quickly show you how I created the caricature effect uh, for my Texas Dream composite, as you can see right here. This is the final uh, product, and it's kind of funny that I'm actually creating this uh, video because I had a lot of flack for the size of the heads <laughs> being too big. And of course, uh, I don't really care because I like it, and I created it because I like it. That's what I do. Uh, I don't listen to my critics when it comes to the you know subjective things that uh, you may either like or not like it's just a, an opinion I, I don't really buy into that so if, if you want to tell me uh, you know if the baby that you don't like the baby having the can in the mouth I dig those kind of uh, critiques because at least you're thinking when uh, you're looking at the portrait if you're just looking at the noggins and they're too big or the heads and they're too big and that's just your subjective opinion by all means feel free to voice that but i don't really take that you know into consideration when i'm doing my composites i just do what i like and so this is the final product i'm going to show you real quickly how i did the heads or made the heads really big so this is where we started with the starting point for this so zoom in here i also brought in the other layer that i'm going to be putting in the baby with as you can see right there okay um, as I click on these if you watch that look how it comes in remember the old dial-up days when uh, you're pulling up you know a picture of some sort and it just kept coming in line by line line by line took you five minutes for a picture to come in so anyway um, let's get into this I'm gonna show you real quickly how to uh, create a big head on Vicky here and so I'm just take my lasso tool one pixel um, feathering there uh, come up when I highlight the head I bring it up here under the jaw just because it makes it easier for me it's less to paint out uh, I also brought the hair around uh, as you'll see later on when we mask this out uh, it's important that we capture all this hair so we make sure that we have something that looks good so we're going to copy that we're going to bring in a new layer here and paste it. So now if you see we have our just our head. And now I'm going to take that command T and we're going to transform it. All right. Come down here so I can see better here. I'm going to transform that to whatever size I want. And then I like to give it a tilt or something whatever i don't know what i did actually i don't know what i did for the other composite you know for the texas dream composite i just know that uh i did it and i like it what i'm going to show you today is just enlarging the head but i do a lot more to it when i'm creating it to give it more perspective and more uh, a feel of motion and action because uh, i don't like just you know sedentary just you know posed images so i, I really do try to get more of a uh, an actiony movement feel with my stuff. So uh, I want to make sure that her jawline here, you know, kind of matches up at least close with the jawline that she has. And that's just because it, if we brought it up too high, uh, as you can see here, if we use that, then she's got a really long neck. So we want to keep it, you know, close at least. All right. So we have that position there. I'm going to go in here and put a layer mask on here maybe there we go grab my brush tool put it on black and then I'm gonna come in here and start painting everything away so I don't really care about this stuff what I do care about is the hair gotta make sure that we get the hair uh, everything in the hair right and as you can see we come down too close there we start to get a shoulder in it and so this is where we just have to get kind of creative all right 
there's no right way to do this, but we can bring this down. We can tilt it a little bit to uh, maybe match that up. Maybe if it tilts for me. Okay. That's a bit too much. And I'm sure that whatever I'm doing right now is not what I did for the composite. I have no idea. It's like I just work. And um, as Richard Avedon used to say, he works in a series of no's until he gets to the yes. I work in a series of happy accidents. So uh, it's a miracle that anything really does happen. And um, a lot of times I don't feel that confident with every, anything that I'm doing. So I'm going to come in here. You know, that's looking pretty good. I mean, that looks pretty natural right there like that. And again, I'm not going to worry about these slats because we'll get rid of those later when we're in the compositing part of all of this. I'm not so worried about the baby's um, bow here because we'll, when we come in here and uh, I'm also going to mask, I'm also going to bring the baby's head up too in size. So I'm not too worried about what it looks like at this point. We'll figure that out later if we need to. And so bring this down, just go with the jawline here. That looks pretty good. Bring my opacity or my hardness down for the chin area here. Just like that. That's looking pretty dang nifty right there. And then we can come in here. And I like this black, so we're going to keep as much as that as we can before it starts showing her something like that. You can see right here. So we can see that her... right there that looks pretty dang good right there all right so now we have her head big and of course we can reposition it a little bit if we want i think i had a little bit to the side like that and down here we had lost a little bit when i'm looking down i'm i, I don't I can't do everything by feel, so. Okay, so we're gonna just come in here, get rid of that part here that came in. Boom, right there. All right. So that looks pretty good right there. So now with the mother, we can see a before and after. Now we're gonna bring the daughter. This is where it gets a little bit more complicated. I'm not going to go into a ton of detail on this part um, just because there's so much to mask out. But we're going to come in here. I wanted her um, little arms because I want to bring the beer can and everything up with her. So take a copy, create a new layer, paste it. And now we have the baby's head. And now we can take this and do whatever we want with it. It's up to your creative eye what the heck you want to do with it. And so do that. Uh, show you a little bit of perspective so you can change the perspective on it. Give her a little bit of tilt there leaning into the picture. Or, you know, it looks like she's leaning into the picture. <clears throat> and then put a layer mask on it and then we're going to grab our brush tool and we're going to start painting everything out and here we're just going for something that looks relatively good you can be you don't have to be perfect with this part of it. Down here, 
when I get it into the final compositing part of it, I, uh, let's see here. We're going to, what are we working with? Okay. So I just want to give it a kind of nice hard line there. So I want to change my hardness up to, you know, 88. Let's go with 88. I like that number. I graduated high school in 88. So that's a, that's a fine number to choose. So, you know, just bring that down here. I'm going to get rid of the camo under the dress here. I want the dress to show. Okay. Something like that. Like that. And if you want to get really, really detailed, which I'm not going to do for this tutorial, uh, bring that hardness down to, you know, 45. And then just because it doesn't give you such a hard edge that make that looks unnatural, you can, if you soften that edge a little bit, it'll blend a lot better with whatever's behind uh, the arm there. And so I generally, instead of uh, using my, I, I use my pen tool a lot for cutting things out, but for this type of stuff, I'll do the old school, you know, just paint it out, do a layer mask and paint it out by hand. Uh, and so I like the looks of it a little bit better. It takes a little bit more time, but I like having that control. Just do that. <clears throat> All right. So you get the, the idea there of how we bring this or cut the edges out of the baby. Now, when we get up here to the bow, we have a lot more to work here and we have to be a lot more focused on what we're doing. Otherwise it starts to look crappy. So what I did just to give you a really quick idea is I grab my lasso tool and see the hair is all the way over here. And so I think I might've done the, what's that called? Polygonal lasso tool polygonal and just come up here you don't have to be spot on balls perfect but with this if you feathered it just a little bit more that, that always happens to me pisses me right the hell off all right so I'm going a little quicker than I would normally so let's just take this selection here easy there all right and then grab the brush tool go in here and paint it out and that way I get a good selection around the bow there well I'll do one more here so you can just get a, another idea with it come up here okay grab my brush tool paint that out now you're getting the idea of getting this stuff out cutting the edges out now I'm sure there's better ways to do this and that's okay. It's the way I do it. And I'm sure the next time I do this, I probably will do something different as well. I don't know why. I don't have like set things that I do from one composite to the next. I just do things. So I'm not going to worry about that. Screwed that up. So anyway, you get an idea there, painting that out. I'm not worried so much about this because I'll get rid of that in the uh, com when I put that in, lay it into the composite. But that's how I created the caricatures 
for the Texas Dream composite that I did. And so, uh, hope you got a lot out of this tutorial. Now, you can go to YouTube and there's you know a ton, I'm sure, of other tutorials that you can watch on how to create the caricatures. Now, as you can see, I don't leave the bodies just natural like they were. I like to change the perspective. I'll do some warping on it, uh, maybe some li liquid liquidification. I don't know if that's a word, but I'll liquefy some things, whatever I feel necessary to create that motion and that, uh, that movement that I like to see in my portraits, something that's a little bit more than just sitting there or standing there. So uh, as you can see, there's more of a, a lean there with her I brought her hips down a little bit uh, in the final product so uh, I just like the way it looks so again you can go to YouTube check it out see what you can find out there I'm sure there's a lot of other great tutorials I didn't just come up with this stuff on my own I learned it as well from uh, YouTube tutorials as well and so all right so I hope you got something out of this tutorial on how to create the big heads for caricatures in Photoshop I challenge you to go out, try your own caricature, see what you can come up, see how you can do it better than I even did. Now, go kick some butt, do some great photography, and I'll see you next time on The Factory.